Okay, welcome to this first of three short uh, videos that are going to help you learn your 18 summer birds that I've asked you to learn this summer. Um, if you had me when you were a freshman, this whole bird thing is probably going to look pretty familiar to you. Uh, these birds should look pretty familiar to you. Uh, if you haven't, um, bear with me. I have my students learn birds each year because I feel like it gets them out of the textbook and outdoors where I, I hope you will be more off, as often as you can. Um, get you recognizing some wildlife that you might not typically notice before, some sounds, some visual identification, and so on. Um, we are going to take these 18 birds and learn them in very small groups, three groups of six. Uh, I'll go over each of them, the groups in a little short video, and then you will take a very simple, simple, simple online quiz through the Kia website that hopefully you receive the email about and you can watch the little intro video <coughs> that uh, I sent you as well. Um, so what we're going to do is start first with our group, first group of six. The American Robin, everybody knows what a Robin looks like. Um, sorry. Um, okay. Um, little uh, bird typically found on the ground. Actually, not about a medium sized bird. Kind of a brownish gray back, a uh, orangey red breast, very. Uh, easily recognizable. They are the classic robin eating worms. That's why they feed on the ground a lot. They love uh, worms and, and insects and whatnot. Male and female look very similar. Uh, one difference is the male has this dark head, but uh, generally speaking, they look pretty similar to each other. If you hear them, this is what you need to listen for. Um, it's a very sing-songy. Your little reference on the bird identification sheet that I gave you says cheerily, cheery up, cheerily, cheery up. It's a very, very traditional bird chirping sound, but it is very sing-songy, and that rhythm is kind of what you want to use to kind of recognize it. Uh, birds, different species of birds have different sounding songs. It, uh, so they can uh, recognize each other for mating purposes and, and so on. So their songs can be used to identify them. If you hear a bird with a sing-songy voice, chances are you are hearing a robin. Back and forth. And then that little whinny call at the end is also kind of typical of a robin. Okay. Uh, next, uh, everybody knows this bird, uh, the Virginia State bird, the Northern Cardinal. That that you're seeing right there is a male. However, uh, females have a similar body shape, but they have a more rusty, orangey look, uh, more brownish than the male. Uh, nothing else looks like... Um, looks like a cardinal, a uh, red bird with a black uh, bit of a mask, a big crest on the head, beautiful bird, you can't really mistake it. We're going to hear it. Northern Cardinal. Oops. It is said to be saying... Purdy, 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 purdy. I want you to be wary of that because there's another bird that's going to have a two-syllable uh, song that you might confuse it with. So purdy, 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 of course, because he is so purdy. That sound right there was the sound that I want you to listen for, that white, 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 white. I'm going to back it up just a bit so you can hear that. White, 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 white. Nothing else does that. So if you hear that, you're good to go. You know you got a cardinal, even if you don't see it. And that's the laser gun, okay? Nothing, well, almost nothing else does that, but... That laser gun is pretty diagnostic as well. Okay, so Northern Cardinal, it also does a really metallic chip note. 
hang on, that, that high, 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 thin chip uh, is also typical of a cardinal. Next bird is my personal favorite, Carolina chickadee. They're really, really cute. Uh, there is a black cap chickadee as well. We don't have those in our area. They are further north. Um, what is it? They look exactly like these, uh, the, the black cap and the Carolina, almost impossible to tell apart. Then what is the difference between them? It is their song. Uh, it is what distinguishes them as two different species. Carolina chickadees will not mate with black cap chickadees, even in places where their ranges overlap, because they don't recognize each other's song, so they won't mate with each other. So they are distinct species in that regard. Um, Carolina chickadee has a very flat song, a flat whistle, uh, and a um, rhythm that can vary, but generally speaking, Phoebe Phoebe is the rhythm you're listening for. Whoops. Carolina Chickadee. Okay. Tufted Titmouse. Carolina Chickadee. Phoebe Phoebe. Okay, that's what you're listening to. They other they do other things too, but to get us started, that's good enough. Uh, he also has a song that kind of says his last name, Chickadee Dee 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 Dee, which we'll hear. Not that. It's just another Phoebe Phoebe rhythm. That. Chickadee Dee 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 Dee. Okay, that's kind of a little scolding call. If he's not happy, you're too close to his nest or whatever, he might do that. All right. Next bird, tufted titmouse. Uh, oh, we didn't really talk about the visual on this guy. Uh, what you need to know to recognize the Carolina chickadee, you need to tap into that black cap, black chin, white cheek. Little tiny bird, really small, smaller than a cardinal. Uh, they love to come to feeders, very common in our area. No other bird that we will learn has a black cap, a black chin, and a white cheek. So that's what you're looking for with him. Now, the tufted titmouse is a kind of a cousin of the uh, chickadee. They're uh, similar birds in that they are small, they uh, have a grayish back and a whitish breast. Of course, this guy does not have black markings, and this guy has something that the Carolina chickadee does not as well. He's this little crest, but he, his behaviors are very similar uh, to the chickadee. They both come to feeders very eagerly, and they have uh, similar kinds of, of habits, and they hang out together. Uh, the tufted titmouse is said to say, Peter, 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 Peter. Uh, and this is the one I didn't want you to confuse with the cardinal who says, purdy, purdy, purdy. Uh, but the tufted titmouse, Peter, 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 a pretty rapid uh, sound. Tufted titmouse. Okay. Flat whistle again, but Peter, 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 Peter. And he will do other things too, but let's just hone in on one thing at a time, and that's the Peter, Peter, Peter. Okay, uh, next on our list is the Carolina chickadee. I'm sorry, Carolina wren, my bad. Uh, Carolina wren is a little brown bird. There's lots of little brown birds. Uh, so what is it makes this recognizable from other little brown birds? Well, first of all, his brown is pretty rich. There are some brown birds that are just kind of dull. He's got a pretty vivid, rusty brown. Um, but characteristic of him is, is this white, brilliant white eye brow over his eye here. Uh, his little tail tends to perk up. He's very feisty and he will raise and lower his tail quite a bit. He is the loudest voice in the woods. There is no doubt you have heard this bird. If you live in Virginia, you have heard this bird. He is said to be saying tea kettle, tea kettle, tea kettle, tea kettle, but honestly, he has many different rhythms. And it's some people almost confuse him with a mockingbird because he has so many sounds. So I'll try to show you the classic tea kettle, tea kettle, tea kettle, but understand he he can change it up. Okay. Carolina Wren. Okay. Blue Jay. Whoops. My bad. Carolina Wren. You're looking for this kind of triplet. Uh, but tea kettle, tea kettle, tea kettle is going to come later. Let's listen.
that's the one. That's the tea kettle, tea kettle, tea kettle, tea kettle. I'll play that little snippet just one more time. Okay. And then that sound is also very characteristic. That pirr, it sounds like almost if you can imagine having a comb and running your thumb along the teeth of the comb, that pirr, that's a real characteristic of these wrens. Okay, these are insect eaters. You can tell by the shape of the beak. They are going to be probing around looking for insects and nooks and crannies of bark and grass and wherever. Um, so uh, they don't typically come to bird feeders because that's they don't eat seeds. Um, all right, finally, our last bird is the eastern bluebird. Males and females look different. I will always show you the male for any of these birds uh, so it will be less confusing and more obvious. Brilliant blue back, rusty orange chest. They're in the robin family uh, a little bit. Uh, so that's this orange breast is kind of a clue to that. Uh, the female is more dull. I will show you the male. The voice to me is difficult. Uh, and so let's see. Blue Jay. No. Europe. Common. Northern. Mo Eastern bluebird. All right, here he is. Um, your sheet, and I think this is number six on your sheet and on your CD, um, says it sounds like cheer, cheerful charmer. I think what they're trying to get at is this kind of ear, ear, ear. It's this creaky door sound. It's really difficult for me, so fortunately you can probably do process of elimination on this one. Uh, once you get it, you get it, you hear them all the time outside, but as far as distinguishing it from the others for your quiz, it, initially I think it's just the, one of the harder ones. So let's hear what he sounds like. Okay, um, that one is a little bit difficult for me, but I hope it won't be for you. Um, once you feel like you're comfortable with these birds, go through your quiz, and if you get them wrong on your quiz, keep retaking it until you get them right. Um, okay, so that's it for your first six birds, and we'll have another little video uh, for your next six and your last six. Thanks for watching, and hope you're having a good summer.